The Ghostlands of Carling might be one of the oldest spawns of the game, and even though I don't think it's close to the current meta spawns, I still found it to be great in a brand new server. Of course, that doesn't mean it's only good for new servers. The spawn can be hunted starting from level 8, but if you're lacking skills, it will be hard. My recommendation for a knight will be to have skills of 45 or level 15. Keep in mind, since this is such an old spawn, it has the old respawn rates, so it's not gonna be enough to stay in one cave only. However, that won't be a problem, since there is three different caves that you can alternate. In order to hunt here, you will need a shovel, rope, food, mana and health pots, and the cure poison skill. To get to the spawn, go west from Carling until you reach here, go down and through the rabbit cave and that's it. But before I go into how to hunt this area, the experience I was getting as a knight from level 15 to 30 was around the 70 to 85k per hour, while always covering my supplies with used gold coins and creature products, while making extra profit with life rings, rare drops and loot bags. But most importantly, the best thing was that almost nobody ever comes here, and even for brand new servers where most spawns are highly contested, this wasn't hunted by others. Now with that, if you want to know more, here is how I hunted. Head to the first cave in the northwest and go straight down to minus 2. This cave will have a nice lap of ghouls and few scorpions. Keep in mind this and the third cave have scorpions on them, so that's why you will need the spell cure poison skill and a few mana pots to use. If you want to use less mana pots, you can leave the scorpions on black HP and let them run away, but I recommend to kill them as they give nice experience. After doing the full lap, just go upstairs and head to the middle cave. Do the first floor and then head to the second. Here you can get easily overrun by the amount of goals, so head to the library and try to have only two attack you at a time. The south room has one fiery devil that you should be careful with. It's good to kill it as it can give some useful drops, like garden shields, necrotic rods, and scimitars, all of which are good in new servers but not worth much in an old server. The room to the east has two slimes, which are another creature that is weak to physical attacks and good for experience, so include them into your lab. And lastly, the room to the southeast you should avoid as it has demon skeletons, which are hard to kill without good skills. After you're done, you can head to the third cave, although going back to the first one should be enough too. The reason I like doing the third cave was mostly for bestiary purposes, as it has a lot of weak creatures, but in particular, what I wanted the most was the scorpion cave, which you will find by heading southeast into minus tree and then southwest. Here you will find a lot of scorpions in this cave, which adds a nice experience boost to the hunt. Plus, at the same time, you can easily finish the bestiary. In case you don't know what bestiary or charms are for, I will make a video that explains that in the future. But for now, what's useful to know is that if you finish bestiaries of creatures as you are leveling up, it will pay off later on when you are higher level. If in minus 2 you head northeast, there will be a few skeleton warriors and ghouls you can add into your lab, and there is even a bigger cave further down if you get past this demon skeleton. This cave is big enough to just stay on this floor, but I don't recommend it, as it has a demon skeleton in this room as well as a stalker on this other room. Both are creatures annoying to deal with, plus the density of this cave is mostly of skeleton warriors and cave rats, with less ghouls. And the main idea of hunting in this area is for ghouls, as they are very good for money drops as well as life ring drops. Either way, when you're done with the third cave, head to the middle one and then back to the first. You should aim for doing the middle cave always in between the other two, but that's assuming you're doing all three and not just two of them. If you happen to come on an old server where you can get access to stealth rings in the market, then you can add the last floor of the northwest cave, as it has a decent amount of demon skeletons that do not see through the stealth. Just be aware that ghouls do see through the stealth, so kill those first. That's all there is to know. Like I said at the beginning, this is mostly a recommendation for brand new servers. In case of old servers, it's better to level while farming creature products with good demand on the market. But since that's not an option on new servers, the goal is always to find spawns that will pay for your supplies. With that said, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, consider subscribing or support the channel directly with Divya Coins donations to Goodie Donation. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.